my name is Kanye and I'm a trained filmmaker as well as full-time content creator and entrepreneur. So today I want to talk about vlogging and also how you can inject some lifestyle elements into your videos even if they aren't necessarily vlogs. You might want to do this to make your videos more dynamic, I don't know. But I'm sure that you guys have noticed that I've been doing this a lot on my YouTube channel Whereas before it was very formal, official, in an office, the same place, the same angle over and over again Now I want to create more of a warm, welcoming and intimate space and relationship between you and I mm. So first of all, what even is a vlog. A vlog is a genre of video that actually borrows um, certain techniques and tropes from documentary filmmaking. It is a video blog. So smart. It's genius really. It's just genius. So vlogs are used to share ideas, experiences, thoughts, whatever it is, in a more personal and engaging way. So when you are trying to build, like I said, a more intimate sort of relationship between yourself and whoever is viewing your videos, then vlogs are really, really good technique. It's also why lifestyle content, lifestyle jobs, lifestyle videos are very, very popular. They just way more intimate so even if you are doing a tutorial like I am right now you might want to inject something very lifestyle into it so that you can establish a deeper connection between you and your audience so in this video and I am creating it with beginners in mind I want to walk you through a few tips and tricks and techniques that will help you to establish that kind of connection without video content creation and vlogging being this burden and really really difficult experience so if you are into that, then keep watching. The most basic vlogging kit that you can have is your cell phone. Just make sure that you've got tools that will help you hold it a little bit more securely, such as a baby gorilla pod or a normal mini tripod. Next up, you can have a vlogging camera. Now, this is the G7X Mark II. I do have an unboxing of this exact camera if you want to go check that out. Um, the reason I like this is because the sound is decent, but also it has a flip out screen, which makes seeing myself when I'm vlogging so much easier. It also does shoot at full HD at 50 frames, so you can have slow motion imagery. The G7X Mark II also has internal stabilization as well as digital stabilization. So you can literally just have the camera, hold it like this, walk around and still get pretty stable imagery. Now some cameras might require a mic, but this one unfortunately you cannot attach a mic to, but the internal camera sound is pretty decent. To make your vlogging experience a little bit easier, you should also definitely invest inside of a tripod or a gorilla pod like this one. This is the Joby 1K and I attach this to my camera whenever I'm vlogging for even more stabilization as well as the ability to have different angles and shot sizes. You also want to make sure that you do have some spare batteries. This is the second battery for my G7X and I also have a few SD cards on hand. I actually have about three or four but they're inside of this very camera that's recording as well as another one that's inside of the G7X. And that pretty much makes up a basic vlogging kit. So let's get back to the rest of the video. Now when it comes to shooting your vlogs, the easiest, easiest way for you to end up with a mess is by going into it unprepared or ill-prepared. So when you know that you want to spend a day vlogging, make sure that you know that it's a busy day or a day where something exciting is happening. And even if it's not, let's say you want to do like an average day in the life or, wh or whatever it is, make sure you at least have a theme. And what I actually like to do is that I like to have an idea or something that I want to communicate to you guys. And I also plant in a lesson somewhere throughout the actual video. So it's still relevant to my niche, it's still relevant to me and this channel because there will be some kind of an element of a lesson inside of it. So I have some kind of a theme that will amount to that lesson as well as give you guys behind the scenes of what it is to be a full-time content creator as well as digital entrepreneur. Now as with any good video, you have to learn how to create 
build and then resolve tension. An easier way of thinking about this is that you have to make sure that your vlogs have a beginning, middle and end. The purpose of a beginning is to establish the tone, establish the setting, establish the environment and the world that you are creating. And some common techniques that vloggers use to do this is that you might have some music playing in the background whilst you make your coffee like I did in the beginning of this video, whilst you get out of bed, whilst you read, whilst you open the curtains or whatever it is that you do in the morning. The middle is where the most tension happens as well as the most action happens. This is also where I insert my lessons. Now here is when you actually start to take them through the bulk of your day. And then the end is how you you wrap the entire day up or the entire vlog video whatever it is up in a pretty little bow now that doesn't mean that that is when you de-escalate the um, tension you could actually build up the tension and then the way that you end is with a to be continued or whatever it is but um, usually if it's like a daily vlog or whatever it is you want to de-escalate by using your nighttime routine winding down things come a little bit slower and then you sign off saying thank you like subscribe see you guys next time or whatever it is now that is the general trajectory of a um, good video of course there will be certain techniques that you can use depending on your theme and your intention of the video itself but if you are a beginner that is the actual plan that I would set out for yourself when you are shooting your vlogs to make your life easier in post-production as well as a really easy map that has shown to work time and time again. So one thing they taught us at film school which I think really does apply to vlogs is that you want to show rather than tell. You're scared of heights so I'm interested to see how this is going to end. Whoa! Yes, of course, you want to say hi and welcome them to your vlog and encourage them to subscribe or whatever it is. But as far as possible, show the action instead of talking about the action. So, for example, you want to be able to pull all of the sound out and the vlog still needs to be able to make sense. People still need to know exactly what it is that you are doing that day. And before I leave you, I do want to give you a few other tips. So one of them is that you want to shoot as much B-roll as possible. Even if you don't end up using it inside of that particular video, at least now you have it in your back pocket. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. <sighs> Also, you don't want to shoot from the same angle for more than, I would say, about five to seven minutes. Even if you are creating, let's say, a time lapse of you doing a setup or working out or whatever it is, you want to make sure that you're always giving people different angles to keep your videos more interesting as well as dynamic. Also, don't forget that you could actually switch things up in post-production. There are tons of editing techniques that will help make your vlogs way, way more interesting. And if you want to get into to those then let me know down below and I will create a full video dedicated to showing you guys maybe up to five techniques that you can use to make your vlogs way more interesting so if you enjoyed this video then let me know down below and I will see you in the next video bye